Audio Cypher just released the MIDI Vault. Not only can you turn your words into melodies and chord progressions, but now you can save those MIDI ideas and run them through your favorite sounds. Store the audio and MIDI files on one card, then add tags so you can filter through your collection and easily find them in the future. You can even save, export, and import your collections to share with others. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned my handle, Simulation Beats, into an audio sample and then into a complete instrumental track. So let's get right into it. To start off in the MIDI generator, we're going to stick to chord mode, change the BPM to 84, root note is C, and then changing the scale over to harmonic minor. And we've got a few different options here for the chords, but I'll stick to the triad here for today, where now we can select the note duration going from 1 16th note all the way to one bar, and even include some triplets over here as well. But for right now, unchecking that right there and leaving on 1 4th, we'll leave join notes on right here to make it sound more natural, leave off the randomized rhythm, and include some inversions. Where now we can go ahead and type in the word simulation, and hit play. And that sounds perfect just the way that it is. Dragging that onto an empty MIDI track. And now I'll go ahead and save this MIDI as my very first card. So by tapping in simulation, we've got our chord progression. And now it's time to get our melody by tapping in the other part of my handle. Keeping all the same settings, we'll switch on over to melody mode and replace simulation for beats. That sounds great, so we're going over here to hit drag MIDI onto another empty MIDI track. So now that we have the MIDI for our chords and our melody, we can make a couple little adjustments. To extend the chord progression to four bars, we'll be duplicating these two chords right here, which from there we'll duplicate that one more time and drop the final chord. Now let's go ahead and copy and paste that to a few other instruments as well. The next instrument that I use is going to be a bit more creepy and reversed, almost like a toy box. And then finally a piano. And now for our melody, I want to add some rhythm to our track, so we're pulling some of these on over like so. And I want more of a pluck sound as well, so be sure in the note duration here too. Now we can just duplicate that and put it on over, and then for these two, why not go up an octave? Alright, so now that everything is sounding the way that I like it to, it's time to export those individual stems along with the MIDI files for the chords and melody as well. Alright, so now back inside of Audio Cypher in the card view with the simulation card that we just made together, I can bring in the different WAV files and also the MIDI files as well. And of course, you can change the names of the files if you want to. Alright, so we've got our melody right here and our three chord layers, which we can now use in any other track that we please. And then we've got the MIDI files right here, the first one that we used to create everything and then the refined MIDI of the melody and the chords. Now that I've got both my MIDI and audio files stored in the same card, it's time to add our tags. Where we can add the rating for our card, I'll put 4 out of 4. Type is going to be something a bit more general, like instrument type or the certain effects that you used. So we could put something like keys, music box, we had a pluck in there, and then I could also add my own tag as well by putting in simulation beats. Save that right there. Now going on over to select mood. This is definitely more of like a dark, creepy sort of track. And haunting's good too, actually. And you can also create any other tags you might want to use as well. Like sinister right there. And then hit save. Now for genre. Now here for sure I want to use it from like a hip-hop track, but it could also be something more like trap as well. Now in the future, whenever I want to access that idea, I can filter it using those tags. But since this is a fresh copy of Audio Cypher and I haven't downloaded any other collections, this is my one and only file. Now luckily the plugin does come with a 20 card pack too, so I can show you how to install one and how we'll look feel when you first load it up. First hit the plus button where you can go to add new collection and then drag in the AUCI file. So let's hear some of those cards now. Okay, very nice. Let's try out the MIDI. Oh, this one sounds very dreamy. It's really cool to hear the different ideas that are popping up here, just from like one MIDI file, how they could really turn into something completely different. Almost like you're looking into the bones of the sample that's created. I like the way that just the, the MIDI file sounded here actually too. It's a lot more warm and pleasing, almost like a something for lo-fi. Very different. Very different. Again here, the MIDI sounds really good along with the two. Way more melodic. It's crazy how different sound selection here can have a totally different vibe for a track. 
So as you build your MIDI vault collection, you've got this storehouse of ideas that you can always access and come back to in future sessions. So let's say that I sit down and I want to make a lo-fi beat. I like this sample here, but I want to blend a second layer as an electric keyboard to give it more body. So I drag the audio sample to my timeline and the MIDI to the pattern that has my electric keyboard. Then I added some EQ to blend it with my sample with a couple of creative effects and my drums, which sounds like this. of these different files here we can search by type for example keys where my simulation card will pop up or go by mood where we can select the sinister tag that we made and the genre hip-hop gonna have quite a few right there too but we can have simulation at the very top right there which you could also set to have the highest rating and bpm alphabetical the newest and then we've got the filters over here as well which can put the scale if you're looking for a certain bpm so i could put down 84 and there it is right there for my bpm one really cool filter feature that we have is if it has midi and has audio so if you know that your card is brand new and you only have midi for it you can filter for that and then finish that idea and then add the stems later on and as someone who's personally created and sold sample packs i've seen a lot of people selling directly through file host services like Google Drive or Dropbox even. So if you're someone that sells sample packs, this is a very interesting approach on doing that. Packs that not only have the audio files, but the MIDI attached to them with the metadata to really search them easily. You can hit the export button at any time to save your vault and share with your friends or sell the packs to other people independently. And to show just how practical Audio Cypher is, let's take our brand new chord progressions and melody and finish out that instrumental. Here's what the three chords sound like. Now for the melody that we created and the bass line that I thought up. And now for the drums. Couple of effects. And finally, here's what everything sounds like. Alright, so for Audio Cypher, overall this is a huge step forward for the MIDI generation space. Audio Cypher doesn't just generate music, it also provides the means to developing those ideas. The word to music generation does not rely on artificial intelligence, and it was not trained on the works of other artists. Which means you can freely use anything you create instead of Audio Cypher without any legal risk. It runs on all the big Mac OS and Windows DAWs like FL Studio, Ableton, Logic, which means that you've got no excuse. So get your ass to AudioCypher.com and pick up your copy today.